Hi, in this video I am going to be converting a food additive called monosodium glutamate or MSG for short to a useful chemical precursor for making succinamide called pyroglutamic acid. I'm not sure about actually making the succinamide but nevertheless I still thought this video would be interesting in the aspect of the preparation itself. To start off, I dissolved 144 grams of monosodium glutamate in around 400 milliliters of water. This takes a while since the solvation of MSG is quite endothermic, nevertheless MSG is actually quite soluble in water. After it had all dissolved, I replaced the smaller beaker with the larger one and transferred the MSG solution to it. I obviously should have used the larger beaker in the first place. But in any case, the next step is to add 129.7 grams of 24% hydrochloric acid solution to the MSG to form glutamic acid and sodium chloride. Glutamic acid has a slight solubility to it of about 7 grams per litre, as well as a small buffering effect which causes it to stay in solution longer than you would have expected from a pretty insoluble compound. As it crashes out it basically sludges up the whole beaker and I need to manually stir with a glass rod. After that I filter the product, I dry it on a hot plate and I get a nice yield of uh, 123%. At this point I didn't have many options. I thought I hadn't washed it enough so there was like 30 grams of excess sodium chloride in my product. So I decided to waste my time doing another washing step and another drying step. But turns out, as you'll see later, my product wasn't actually dry whatsoever. In the end I gave up at a 110% yield and just continued with the next step. In this next step, we are actually doing a ring closure and forming a 5 membered ring via a dehydration reaction. I'm using 50 grams of my wet product, so it's probably about 40 to 35 grams of glutamic acid. The reaction is set up outside and is heated to 160 degrees Celsius and let run until there's no more loss of water to be seen. For me this took about 2 hours since I needed to remove the excess water that was in my glutamic acid from the synthesis. If you use dry glutamic acid this process should take about 1 to 1 and a half hours. Only after about 1 hour into the reaction did the dehydration truly start. You can see some slight bubbling of the reaction mix. This is water being liberated from the glutamic acid molecule forming pyroglutamic acid. Some 15 minutes later it started bubbling pretty strongly indicating of course that the reaction is working. After all bubbling ceased I was left with this brown liquid which on cooling turned very caramel-like in texture. You can see how you could easily pull out small strings of this material once it cooled to room temperature completely. To isolate the product from this caramel-like rock, I add 
200 milliliters of water and heat it until everything dissolves. After reducing the volume of the solution, I let it cool down. And all of a sudden, a lot of salt crashes out. I wasn't really sure about the purity of that though, so I redissolved it by heating the mix again, filtered and let it crystallize out slowly. In the end, I was left with much nicer, cleaner and larger crystals of pyroglutamic acid. I filter the product and wash it with a little bit of water and then twice with ethanol. The mother liquor is actually not discarded, but is led to evaporate slowly at room temperature. This is very important to increase our yield. It is 5.53 grams, which represents the yield of 16%, which is pretty bad. But since I'm only interested in the preparation itself, I would say that's acceptable. And also adding to my yield are these surprise crystals. They are so massive, it's really cool and I didn't at all expect to get such good quality crystals from the mother liquor. And these crystals bring the whole yield up to around 30%, which is pretty acceptable, I would say. So like and subscribe if you want to and check out my Instagram account. And as always, thanks for watching. I filtered the product. I... What the fuck? What the f*** my...